they've got a crest. That's how you know it's good. Welcome to Pino's Restaurant. Pino Bologna originally come from Sicily. So he opened Pino's and it was legendary. Pino himself was legendary. 25 years later, Tisha Schellenberger and head chef Randy Pitts are creating dishes that carry on the tradition at Pino's. I have a chance to put, you know, my food out there and Randy's food, the creative stuff that you don't get to do with uh, corporate restaurants a lot of the time. One of the duo's creations is their steak. Everybody that's had the steak so far is blown away by it. They seem to really like it. They tell us that, um, you know, it's something we could be doing in Chicago or Indy all day long. It's a filet trotter is what it's called, and we blacken that um, and flash fry it um, in grapeseed oil because it has a really high um, smoke rate. It's not going to burn it as opposed to just searing it in real quick, get all those juices in. Um, then we cook it off in the oven to about a medium. We finish that off with a plate of the garlic spinachi, um, and then on the top of the steak, he, Randy will cut up the steak and fillet it out in medallions. On top of that, we have a blue cheese Alfredo fusion sauce that works really well for it. But the real test, what do the judges think? I'm really picky, so this is, this is testing me right here. All right, let's try it's this. Awesome. Ooh. <laughs> I want to lick the plate, but I'm not going to lick the plate. This is public. Hold on. I clicked onto it, so I don't even know. It's never coming back here. I think the empty plates speak for themselves. Over 25 years, some of the dishes have changed at Pino's, but his spirit is still very much alive. I think about that so much. The tradition of how Pino used this place as like it was his family, like it was his living room. That's really what I want to encompass with that, is when you come in here, you're my guests, you know, you're not just customers to us, you're totally guests. So I would hope he would be, he would be proud of what we're doing. In Terre Haute, Mike Latta, News 10.